Hi guys, how do you do? I'm Karen Adamski with shamamama.com and today I'm coming to you with Magnetite, also known as Lodestone. And I just got a new order in and I just wanted to share with you because it's it's kind of um, a neat stone and it's sort of an underdog stone, I think. You know, it's not as glitzy and, and pretty as some of the other crystals, but it's super, super powerful. So I just wanted to tell you a little bit about Magnetite or Lodestone. I refer to it usually as lodestone. So one thing when you're looking uh, to buy lodestone, I always look for mm, something that has, or the pieces that have these little, see it looks like it has little black hairs growing from it. I know it's kind of hard to tell with this camera angle here. But these are little shavings of iron. So they're naturally um, attracted to this. It's, it's working as a magnet, this stone hence the name magnetite. Um, another way you can look for good quality magnetite is to make sure that it really is magnetic. Um, so I always take a needle, this is just like a sewing needle or needle from my sewing machine, and I attach it to the piece. Just make sure that it holds, so it's like, yes, this really truly is magnetite, okay? So that's how I look for magnetite. So all of the uh, lodestone that I sell in my store Blue Moon Shadow on Etsy.com uh, comes from Utah, from a supplier in Utah from their land. So I like knowing where the stones come from. I like knowing that they're coming straight from Mother Earth um, through one supplier to me and then and then to you. Um, it just feels clean that way. And um, I guess more honorable to, to the stones, if that makes sense. So this is a uh, personal piece of magnetite that I use often and I have a piece of leather cord tied around it and I use this uh, for a couple different things. Sometimes I'll use it for dousing um, when I'm doing cleansings or, or healings for people. Um, and that feels, it's, it's just, it's a powerful tool. Um, the other thing I use this for is, and I have it on this longer string on purpose so that I can um, spin it and you really get that momentum going. It's sort of like a fan. And I'll use this uh, sometimes over a person or over um, an animal or a plant, whatever I'm trying to, to heal and, and send energy to, um, cleanse uh, the negative energy away um, and bring in good positive energy. So I use this in that way. I also use this often when I'm going to homes or businesses for blessings and I want to do a clearing, an energy clearing. This is kind of like a, um, I don't just think of it as like a, a little energy vacuum. You know, the energy that you don't want, all that juju out there, this kind of, kind of breaks it up, sucks it up, takes it away. So this is a good tool that I use often. And like I said, it's not, um, you know, this isn't like the prettiest stone in the world, but it's a good example of it doesn't matter. It's powerful. It's good medicine. So magnetite in general is really great for your root chakra. It's really good for healing. Um, you think about, you know, those bracelets sometimes that you see people wear that are magnetic and they've got the, the you know, the one magnet on this side and one magnet on this side. And so it's that magnetic energy uh, working through your body that's very, very healing. It speeds up the healing process and magnetite really works the same way. So if you have an injury, um, if you have inflammation in some area, um, you can place the stone or stones in that area and it often helps uh, relieve pain and, and helps the healing process. Lodestone can be very beneficial for healing uh, with asthma, with your uh, blood or circulatory system. It's really great for skin, it's good for hair, it stimulates sluggish organs, um, meaning that it kind of takes out that energy that's blocking you, not needed, and kind of merges everything and puts you back into alignment. So it's a, it's a cleansing. Think of it as cleansing, which you don't need going on in you at that time, uh, energy that's not aiding you in some way. It helps draw that out. So lodestone can stimulate sluggish organs, and it can also reduce the energy in overactive organs. So it's really um, a good balancing tool for, for your organs. Lodestone is also really good for healing muscle cramps and strains. It's great for menstrual cramps. 
and it's also known to help stop nosebleeds, which I have not experienced, but um, what I'm told is that you just, you know, putting pressure on your nose when you're having a nosebleed, put one or two pieces um, up here with the pressure, um, and that it will stop the, the bleeding faster. So if you're feeling drawn to working with lodestone or picking up a piece for yourself, uh, check out my link below and that'll take you to my store where you can purchase this. I sell lodestone for $9 a piece, um, which is a good deal. And like I said, this is good quality stuff from Utah. So if you have any questions or anything, please feel free to let me know, comment below, and I will do my very best to answer your questions. And thank you again for your time. Have a fantastic day. Namaste. Be well.